I was making my Big Fat Greek Wedding too, and I started to feel sadness toward the end of it. I felt like the story needs to go on. You know, three always feels good, a trilogy. And so I thought, I have to do another one. And I wanted to tell the story about going back to Greece. And the original story was going to be, of course, that we go with Michael Constantine's character back to his village, because that's all my dad ever wanted, was for us to visit his village. And so I wrote this movie about taking Michael Constantine back to Greece. And then we, of course, lost Michael Constantine in the same year that I lost my dad. And I decided to just channel grief through my fingertips, and here's why. I realize if I'm going through it, then the audience must be too, because we started together, and in the same way that they're also going through family issues, people are growing up, kids are going off to college, well, of course, we've also probably lost a parent too. We're scouting locations, and I was sending the cast pictures and images of like, we're gonna film here, and this, this set is available to us, and this is the village that's, its architecture matches this set that we're going to build, and I just was telling them things, but I did not expect it to come to fruition until the day I saw everybody in dance rehearsal. And that's when I realized we're doing it. We're actually making this movie, and everybody's here in Greece, the homeland. I did a three-part process of preparation. I, I prepared the script. As the writer, I went through numerous rewrites and I took every note into consideration from the studio because they're wonderful partners. And I wanted to create a movie that we could all be invested in. And also, studio executives read a lot of scripts and they can spot ideas uh, that might not have been uh, filled to fruition, where they should go. So I made sure to absolutely have a script that was in shape. I'm glad that I took the plunge to direct the third one. I, I do know that the uh, creative producers had wanted me to direct the second one, but I didn't feel that I was ready. Even though I had been in the editing room on the first movie, um, in with the orchestra recording the score on the first movie and the second movie, I'm just, you know, I'm always there watching, watching and learning and asking questions. Gotta ask a lot of questions. and. The, the producer Gary Getzman said, um, you know what the difference is between him and you? He pointed to the director on the second one, and he said he thinks he can do it. And that really stayed with me. And so I learned. In the time between the second and third one, while I was doing theater in New York, I studied, and I figured out all the angles, all the shot lists, everything I would need, everything I wanted to do. And then when they asked me to direct the third one, I very quickly said yes.